Hi, this is Ryan from Mike's Breaks here. Today we got another Lego Batman movie set, The Riddler Racer. This is set 70903. It's recommended for ages 7 to 14 and it has 254 pieces. It comes with five minifigures, Batman, The Riddler, Magpie, I think that's what her name is, Calendar Man, and Kite Man. At the back of the box, you can pretty much see that there's Kite Man's wings are f flying right there. Um, what's really cool is that there's stud shooters on um, one and two right there. Um, I think it's like aiming up, so you can just pull the back of it and shoot it because his finger's there. And you can see that they're playing right here, but they're um, actually fighting because Batman's using his battering to get the Riddler first. And you can see all the bad guys but not Batman, which is kind of sad. So let's get opening the box. Bag number one. Bag number two. Not so much see the stickers. Nah, dog. Oh, a piece. One big piece to end with. So let's get building. Let's start off with the minifigures, introducing Batman. Batman's pretty cool. He comes with nine amps because he has an extra pack. He comes with a three batterings. He does come with two extra ones. One's in his hand. He comes with a black cape, which is pretty cool. That looks exactly like more realistic like Batman. He does come with an extra belt and one he's wearing. He comes with some black pants and he has two faces. A calm face and an... Oh, uh, the cape's kind of in it. And a uh-oh face. Just kind of weird, because I thought he was going to have an angry face. Um, he looks the exact same thing. He looks the exact same like um my Batmobile Batman, which is pretty weird. Now, let's review the Riddler. Well, the Riddler is my favorite one, because he comes with a nice pole, and I believe that's a question mark. He comes with even a question mark hat. And then once you get the minifigure, and once you're building his head, his hair is actually connected to his hat, which is pretty cool. He comes with two faces, a happy face, and a mad face. But I like the happy face a little bit more, which is pretty cool. Um, he comes with some, all of his suits are green, uh, like his whole suiting, I'm about to say. Um, like even his pants, um, his, like his suit he's wearing, um, and his hat. He, his suit... Um, and it's covered with question marking, it's kind of weird. I don't know why it's called the Riddler, which is weird. And I don't know why it comes with question marks. It comes with a green tie in the middle, and it comes with some little bit of white clothing in the inside. Right next to it, you can see a little bit of dark clothing, which is kind of sticking beside it, which is kind of weird as well. Next, Magpie. Well, Magpie's kind of like a weird mini thing to get, but she doesn't have legs like all these things. I'll show you the red one. He has legs and you can make a move him like this. Oh sorry, I'm not gonna but you can move him. But she doesn't. Instead she is wearing a really long dress. But the good thing is about her not having legs is she still stands, even when she carries two bombs. She does come with two bombs, red bombs actually. And she does come with red She comes with uh, really short hair. Um, and it's white as well, which is kind of weird. <laughs> haven't seen someone wear white hair before. Um, she comes with this really cool shoulder armor right here, which is kind of pretty cool. And she does come with like a, 
um, white stripes when she's going down her dress. I think she does come with two faces. Yeah, she does. She comes with two faces, uh, an angry face, and a, like a smiling face, I think. Yeah, a smiling face. It's kind of hard to turn it, so I mean, that's why I was putting it off the camera. So I need to put it back to the camera. There you go. And she does uh, come with some weird printing beside her face. She comes with some weird eyebrows, and it's like purplish. And her lips are purplish as well. Second to last, Calendar Man. Well, to me, Calendar Man looks like the weirdest one out of all of them because he doesn't come with two faces, and his face looks weird. It looks like he's lazy. And his whole suit is just a calendar, which is kind of weird. But the good thing is, he, at least he schedules, which is kind of weird. He schedules his day, but not me. But he comes with this, like, cape. It looks like a cape. Him and Batman are the only ones to come with a cape. I don't think that is a cape anyway, but it looks like a cape. Um, it has some dating on the back of his cape, which I'll, I'll just call it cape. He comes with a white necklace, and then his suit right here is counting the dates, which is pretty weird. Um, he has some white, um... Pants, I mean not white, white pants, a white color right here, and uh, like his full bottom is just red. Um, his whole arms are red, and um, his helmet right here is just a full calendar, which is kind of weird. Last but not least, Kite Man. Well, Kite Man is the hardest one to hold, because his um, kite wings right here are too heavy. I tried to hold them a couple of times. Um, I tried bending them over a little, but it still didn't work, because his kites are too heavy. He comes with a kite symbol on his helmet, and he has two faces. I believe I can fly face and a mad face. But I like that um, happy one. He comes with an extra visor, um, like which is this. Um, you can just um, slide it up and down like that. He comes with a green suit, and it comes with a kite symbol as well. Even on his belt, which is yellow, it comes with another kite symbol, which is the same. It comes with some dark green pants right here and at the back of him I think those are lights which is kind of like a mistake because you can't see if it's behind him I have no idea what that is anyway but you can move him like I said at the back of the box um and he even said it at the back of the box as well um it does come apart a little easily with mine come on stick together there we go um it does flaps like this flaps like a bird does which is pretty weird last to review the Riddler Eraser. I'm going to do um, something different about the Riddler Eraser. Um, we're going to review everything, which is going to be pretty fun. Well, at the front of it, um, it has a question mark. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you. This whole Riddler Eraser is just to put this guy in it because it's his vehicle. Because he has question marks, and that's a symbol of the Riddler, which is pretty weird. Um, I don't know why it has a question mark, which is weird for a, about a Riddler. But at the front, you can move these headlights right here move them up just make sure you don't pull them too hard because the piece might fall out and then you can just move them down like that for the question mark you can move that up but sadly it looked like a stud shooter that you can just shoot out but it is a shooter i think but you can't shoot anything in it but it's pretty cool still on the sides of it they are the same there's a mirror and all the same color design and there's one with mirrors that the driver looks through and then the same design you can see there's an engine here and this piece right here I think that's where the fire comes up, which is pretty cool. I have no idea what this piece does right here, but I think this is where the fire comes out, I think. I don't know, it's either this one or this one. I'll tell you what the back does in a bit, actually. It comes with some cool wheels right here. Uh, they're kind of hard to put in. Even how you build them are pretty hard, because you have to put this piece in the center in. Um, what I didn't expect is that how um, far it can move. Like the Batmobile does, like it can move as far as like you wanted to drive it to, how much force you put into it. But this one just stops automatically. But the cool thing is, I just drive it like with my hands, so I don't have to treat it like that way. So I don't want to break it in accident. So now let's review the back, like I said earlier. Uh, this part right here, you can ang angle it up, and then there's the stud shooters hanging out of there. But what's really cool is that it looks like it's a hidden stud shooter. All you gotta do is release it from the back. It shoots pretty far, actually, and it shoots. Bam! Well, thanks for watching this whole video. It was a really fun set to build, the Riddler Racer. My favorite minifigure to this set was the Riddler, because I don't have them, and so I don't have those other three either, but this one's a pretty popular bad guy. Well, stay tuned for more Revit Up 7 and more Wings Freaks. 
stay tuned for more LEGO set reviews like these ones and stop oceans because those are really fun to make. Um, well, thanks for watching this video. See you guys next time. Bye and subscribe for more. Try to shoot this camera. Bam! Bam! Oh, missed. I'll try to get this one as well.